Thank you for tuning in to No Flag Radio. I'm your host, P. And this is another P code done live. Today's P code done live. If you black and you go to the military and don't come back training black men, women, and children on how to shoot and do military drills, or if you go to the military and you black and you worked in intelligence and you don't come back teaching black men, women, and children how to do intelligence, you off code. And that's the code of the day. I say this because a lot of black military people come back acting like they better than everybody that's black and not trained in military operation who don't have militaristic faculties about them, right? They act like they better than everybody who's not militarily trained by the U.S. government. They act like they better than everybody and so specially trained and so special, but what does it serve you to have all that training and you don't turn around and do what every group of people do and help your people become militarily trained. All of that shit can detract somebody from wanting to fuck with the military, period. You take that picture, add it on to your ass going to the military and then coming back acting like you somebody, come back acting like you tough and you big, that's going to make people want to slap the shit out of you. We got to look at the fact that a lot of these military folk Coming up from what they came up from, I know a lot of people that was in the military. Before going to the military, they wasn't no tough guys. And they wasn't no crazy dudes neither. They was dudes who just looking for a way to get some paper. And that's as far as they thought it out. They didn't think about the before, during, after, none of that. They just said, I need some money. And the motherfuckers come to the school, they come wherever they come at and try to get you to get down. Ninth grade, they was trying to get us to sign our lives away that type of shit, right? They come to the hood. They come to the hood to get you to sign your life away. I'm just telling you. So, what we get out of our people when we go to the military is not what white people get. They get motherfucking training brought back to their communities. What we get is motherfuckers trying to stunt, wanting the gorilla chest beat, motherfuckers wanting to army clout and trying to big dog niggas on some army clout shit and wanting to stunt in front on people like they so tough and that you better not mess with them because they're so tough. And don't nobody care about that. I look at it from a street perspective. Them government issue guns that you military guys got, we got them same things in the streets. We was also given military grade government issue weapons just like you. But... It can be documented that we did a lot of different things with our government issues. You understand? We did more than just stand for the flag. We did more than just shoot who white supremacist terrorist America said go shoot. You understand? Know that a lot of us were actually able to defend our communities based on having access to that shit. A lot of us use those guns, just historically speaking, you can look back through our history, a lot of us use those guns that America rounded up from all these conflicts that it started and engaged in internationally, and we use them to defend our people. A most recent example, when America was in Darfur, all those guns that got brought back from Darfur, they ended up in like Louisiana, they ended up in surrounding states, you know what I mean? And it got into the hands of people who were not only doing fucked up shit, but also doing righteous shit with them guns too. I just want to say, that's the scope that I'm looking at this under. So, the heart behind everything that you think that makes you a tough military guy is watered down. And maybe somebody in the comments from the streets or from the military can vouch for me on this. But this is how I feel and how a lot of people in the streets feel like, you in the military and you think you tough because you was in the military. But that's all you do is come back with that I'm tough shit. But you don't come back on no I'm helping the community shit. And that's a problem. When you know we're in need of being trained up in a lot of ways, militarily speaking. When you know we're up against militias. So we need to at least have a hand in that type of activity and 
have a portion of us dedicated and devoted to training up our people as well. Period. Making a militia is not illegal. They're not ever going to make that shit illegal in America. The day they do that is the day that a lot of shit going to pop off in this bitch. So as long as making a militia is not illegal, we need to focus on it. And we need to have our military people who come from these international conflicts, who get all this training, to really be some of the first hands on deck to pull it off with our community and within our communities. Nationally, globally, this needs to be our reality. Period. White people, when they come back from the military, they run to these white supremacist terrorist organizations and start training people up. Or they'll make their own branch of a white supremacist terrorist organization and start training their people up. From the children to the women to the old to the young, everybody gets trained. We just need to take the cognizance of training our people up, period. We need to prioritize that. If you're in the military and you're not prioritizing that, you're fucking up. This is why I'm devoting this P code to your type of black person out here. A lot of brothers and sisters go to the military with the mind state of, I'm trying to get a little money. I'm trying to see something different than looking at the hood every day. I get it. I get it. Motherfuckers need to eat. I get it. But when you come back and just act like you ain't got nothing to give to the people, you ain't got nothing to show for the people in the face of what we dealing with, it just smacks everybody in the face. And then people start turning to more of the negative connotations associated with military men, women in our communities than the positive part. I talk to a lot of young military guys and all of the, all they want to do is go over to some other country and kill. That's all they want to do is just kill something. And I'll be like, yo, don't y'all care about going into a village where it's men, women, and children, people y'all don't know and that it's just somebody white told y'all to go kill them and that they're bad. Y'all don't even care about that shit. You don't care that somebody white told you that they're bad and that they could be lying to y'all and that they probably are. And the, they just start laughing and smiling. Most of them, they already know that, yeah, they, they're on some fuck shit. They already know. Y'all go fight in a war and then come back and sit in a lawn chair and yell at niggas all day like you in the army all day. Like, nigga, motherfucker, you ain't in the army no more, bitch. Now run back into the house and go get your gun, bitch, as I put two in your butt. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. Motherfuckers feel like that if you come back just to stunt and talk shit about niggas. Niggas don't care about how idiotic you were as a youth running into the military. Niggas don't care about how crazy you can be. Because motherfuckers just going to say fuck you at some point. Motherfuckers going to get tired of staring you in your eyeballs every day and you acting like you so PTSD, so stressed. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers in the hood got PTSD, ain't never been overseas. You acting like you special and niggas ain't having that. Niggas don't like that shit. You gonna have to deal with people where they at. And where we at is a war condition, a prisoner of war condition under white supremacist terrorism, under Asian supremacist terrorism, under Latino supremacist terrorism, under Indian supremacist terrorism, under Arabic supremacist terrorism. You need to address all of that shit with some sort of training or else you just a good for nothing motherfucker with a resume of worshiping that flag praying to that flag like a true sambo built motherfucker out here you hear me and if you out here just a peacock strut and gorilla chest beat off of some phony ass stripes you got for fighting for white supremacist terrorist interests you might just get slapped. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I just want to get that out there that there's a current out there of military people that are basically lumps on the law. They basically stagnant and their energy needs to be called to the floor. They need to be called to task to do what it is they think they about or don't ever bring up your military service ever ever there's no point in even bringing up your military service it's a shameful thing to be in the military i'm gonna just say it it's a shameful thing if you ain't coming back training brothers training sisters training children in the face of white supremacist terrorist militias you fucking up and ain't got nothing to show for it you ain't got nothing to show for the fact that you served a bid of your life fucking with that shit fight for the enemy of the world white supremacist terrorists and didn't think to bring any training back to your people you must be out your motherfucking mind
all y'all motherfuckers. We just talking about American military people right now. But this shit goes for every continent. You ain't got nothing to show for that shit. You come back trying to brag and act like you tough, but you really a bitch though. You really a ineffectual, neutered motherfucker for real. And that's all I got to say about it. You know, white people, when they come back from the military, they make preppers. They make militias. They do all this stuff with their military training. You understand? They come back and teach their community. And it can be seen in my series on the 3% militia, how so many of these militia members used to be former military. They came back to teach their people. They didn't come back to just say, look at how tough I am, nigga don't mess with me type of shit. So that's why I always view a military person in America. If you black and you ain't come back doing this type of stuff that I'm talking about, I view you as a weak bitch. And I said it, and that's how it is. You're a weak bitch. You're just out here trying to get clout and get your ego stroked because you served in the military. But you ain't shit, really, when it comes to the value of the community. You just a motherfucker out here that want respect off of not doing nothing to help your people. You stood for the flag, boy. You prayed to the flag, and that's all I'm seeing when I look at a lot of military guys. I see... Some dudes that I went to school with, you know, they will pump bitch motherfuckers before they went into the military. And then they came back from the military acting tough. They didn't come back on no, I'm trying to help my people shit. You got a check for it. You got a check, you got paid, and you're not spending that check directly on building a military training organization for your people like all the other races do. You can't deny this. This is what they do with their military money. They spend it on buying stuff to help train their children how to shoot, how to do bow and arrows, how to do all this fighting and all this other stuff that they've learned. This is what they do. And they're allowed to operate. It's not a big deal. But you coming back acting like you a tough guy and you want to get somebody to be scared of you or some shit. I done checked plenty of military dudes. That ain't shit to me. It don't mean shit to me. Especially when you don't got the heart of my people at your core for real. I see it in your eyes. I see it in their eyes. That shame. Yeah, be ashamed. You are a part of the problem. So figure out what you're going to do today, military people. You're going to stand for us or you're going to stand for that flag? And that's the code of the day. I'll get it y'all later.